Boy, hello everybody, welcome back to Lake. Oh, wow. I've turned on my headlights. This is incredible. Oh, this is a momentous situation here, everybody. Oh, they said a thunderstorm might roll in. A thunderstorm is rolling in. Oh, this is fantastic. This pleases me. I like when things in games change, you know. You, you can have a totally different... Why is my lights flickering? I don't, I don't like this at all. I don't want to be trapped here. I don't like this guy at all. He bothers me to no end. He's kind of evil. Okay, no, he's a lot evil. He's, he's... Come on, under the awning, under the awning. Okay, there we go. We're dry, we're dry. I'm busy. Okay, good luck. No, damn it. I almost had it. I almost fucking had it. Thanks for breaking my concentration. You're welcome. <sighs> Video games are supposed to be fun. I feel horrible. Absolutely horrible. Maybe you should try a different hobby. Should you know what? Try a different I can hobby. beat this damn game. And I'm not quitting until I have. Good luck with that. If you feel you identify with that gentleman deeply, perhaps it is time to find a new hobby and seek out different things in your life to make it better, more entertaining, and more fulfilling because if something makes you feel horrible, you gotta stop. It, uh, it, 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 no bueno. Not healthy. My headlights keep coming and cutting out and cutting back in. This is this is very disconcerting. <laughs> It'd be different if I had control over my headlights and I would know that these are just like, it's getting a bit light and it's getting a bit dark. Alright, come on. Boy, I can't believe like the sort of pace I'm making through these muddy farmer's fields too. Okay, fellow Providence Okians, it's time once again for the sent-in letters and announcements. This one's from our very own Maureen, or Mo, as we all know. Hey, foe. Just wanted to grab your ears for a second to let you know all about the upcoming open mic night over at Mo's Diner this Sunday. That's right. Claim your 15 minutes of fame, enjoy some well performances, and the usual good food and drinks for everyone. I expect to see all of y'all for a great evening. And maybe even some dancing. You know who you are. Come join the show at Moe's at 8 p.m. this Sunday. I'll come get you if you don't. Well, you heard her, folks. And I'll be there, too, so you better not miss it. Back to the music and to one of my favorite songs. Mail Carrier Meredith. Farmer DJ Jack. Seen any ghost drivers on the way here? Ghost drivers? Yeah, you know, people driving on the wrong side of the road. Nope. Uh, yeah, that'd be neat. Okay, I was just wondering. Don't bother. I need to get back to the live show. See you tomorrow, I reckon. Bye now. 
Uh, bye, Jack. Oh, and please close the door. Don't want to broadcast any mail truck noise. Thank you much. I was thinking about also all the rain that's kind of going on. As recently, I have just had to change stuff in my own uh, dwelling room. And in doing so, and move some furniture around, things got really hollow, so I had to do a little makeshift uh, solution to try and deaden some noises. And uh, my, my view setup is, is, is a downside more sound deadened than his, so I can't imagine what he's going through. I even have, you know, fancy mics and challenging software that supposedly save some of this stuff, but I know eventually I'm going to have to work up to, to new and more exciting things, but just a little bit at a time. And we're back to the post office to finish the day off. Where to Hey, are we? Are we having dinner with oh yeah, dinner with Robert. Again, I, I don't think any of his inclinations are of a romantic nature. I think the uh, diner lady is hoping for more so than that. But I think she feels a bit like a busybody and Everybody's business is hers. <laughs> yeah, there we go. End of the day. And so ends a week full of turmoil. <sighs> you can say that again. Only the Angels had lost to the White Sox. That would have made it perfect. How much would you have won? $876.34. Would have been a nice payday, huh? They're playing each other again tonight. Should they change the bet? Um... I don't know. I hate to say it like this because it sounds like such a callous thing. It's, it's, it, you know, when someone asks you such a question like that, it's the good old, like, well, I don't know the records. I don't know how well they're doing. I don't know what's going on. Sorry, Frank, but I really don't care about sports or gambling. <laughs> Meredith, no problem. I'll stop talking about no, it. No, I'll, I'll try at least. I would like to hear about it and learn we'll more, weekend, but I don't have enough information oh, wait, this at this point in time to, uh, I totally forgot to tell you, but they still haven't found someone else for the job. So I guess you can have it if you want. Wow. That sounds quite nice, actually. Of course. And it's a great job. You know what? Think about it, man. Let me know Monday morning when you return your stuff. I gotta run now. Red Sox are playing the Yankees. Sports. Well, I got it. I got a dinner date with Robert. Hi, Meredith. It's your dad again. How was your time in the mail delivery business? Oh, hi, Dad. Well. It was okay. A nice change of scenery. Great, but not something you do for the rest of your life. Oh no, they're, they're starting to, um... Actually, it seems like they haven't filled the vacancy yet. They haven't? Well, you know what I'd do. Oh, hold on, Meredith. Let me guess. Mom wants to talk to me? Mm -hmm. Hi, Meredith. Sorry to butt in, but you're thinking about staying in Providence Oaks? Hi, Mom. I'm not sure, to be honest. What are you not sure about, dear? Are other people involved? You know, any interesting, interesting ones, perhaps? Well, 
There are some interesting developments. <gasps> Angie. Yes. Oh, there are. But are they really interesting enough to give up your entire career? I really think you need to think long and hard on it. Why are you pressing me Hold to on. choose now, I then? I have a suspicion Dad wants to talk to me. Meredith, you too, I, I tells you. I just wanted you. to say, you need to clean the lint filter on the dryer every once in a while. If you never do that, it could burn the house down. I mean, he's right. No problem, Dad. I'll make sure to do that. Great, thanks. I sometimes suddenly worry about things like that in the middle of the night. And it's not about the dryer, of course. I want you to be safe. And I'm sure you'll be okay. I'll tell the dryer that he's on your mind. <laughs> Thanks. And could you also pet him on his back every now and then? He likes that. Oh, running out of coins. Gotta go. Bye, Em. Take care. Wait. I really thought he was talking about me. Is there a dog that I don't know about and I could have been petting this entire time? I hope you don't think I'm a cheapskate for having dinner here. There aren't a lot of other restaurants around, and I'm pretty sure their food isn't better than Moe's. Don't worry about it, Robert. I love it here. Thanks, Meredith. You're such a kind person. Good evening, you two beautiful people. Ready to order? Ladies first. Hi, Maureen. Oh, it's hard steak. to pass up a juicy T-bone steak. Excellent choice, Meredith. And what would you like to wash it down with? Hmm. I think I'll have a... Whiskey. Water. Gotcha. Robert? The usual for me, Maureen. All right, Robert. T-bone steak and a beer. Doesn't get any more lumberjack than that. Be right back, folks. Ashley, get the steaks out! Maureen's the best. Mm -hmm. Did you hear about the open mic night she's organizing? Yeah, she only told me about it a dozen times. I wish I could go, especially since I heard that Jack's gonna do a thing. Jack? What's he gonna do? <laughs> Give a oh, lecture potato about lecture. Believe it or not, he's a very good ballet dancer. <sighs> yes! Jack? Really? <laughs> no. He's into comedy. Would have loved to have heckled him. Oh well. This is a good week anyhow. Must be nice that the apartments are off your mind for a while. Alrighty. Here are your beverages, folks. I'm afraid the food might take a little longer. As a certain kitchen helper thought the freezer was a good place for storing steaks. Oh, I really should get one of those microwave ovens to defrost them. You seem a little stressed. Is it the upcoming open mic? Why should I be stressed about that? It's going to be lovely. And you better be there, Robert Harris. Maureen, I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I won't be able to make it. I did not just hear you say that, young man. Oh, by the way, Meredith. I need to steal him for two minutes. He needs to check on some wiring for me. Excuse me, Meredith. This is Maureen's jurisdiction. Have to obey the law. Mmm, that tasted so good. Thanks, Maureen, for the fantastic blueberry pie. You're welcome. You know, I finally it's have my blueberry way of making pie. up for stealing you away from Meredith. Ooh, you I know swear. how long I've been at this? She can give quite the stink eye if she wants, can't you, hon? Oh, boy. Oh. The world would be boring without her. Speaking of, are you going to miss your daily delivery round? Yes, I probably will. Must be nice here compared to the big city. Hmm. Have you always lived in a small town? Yeah, Providence Oaks is my second one. After my divorce, I had to move away from the first one. Everything and everyone reminded me of her. I can imagine that. But maybe I shouldn't bother you with the innermost feelings of a lumberjack. Maybe not. I mean, if you don't want to. Robert and Meredith? Sorry to break up your conversation, but we're closing up early tonight. 
Gotta set up some stuff for the open mic night, and ah. I can't use any peeping eyes. Oh, okay, Maureen. No problem. Let me get the check for you, so I can leave you two to your lovely evening. Can you put it on my tab, Maureen? Anything for you, darling. Do you mind if I pay? Or at least for half of it? Meredith, after all your help, this is the least I can do. So, yes, I mind. Now let's get going before Maureen gets her broom out. Meredith, thanks again for your help. Not sure what would have happened if you hadn't come here for your mail delivery vacation. You're welcome, Robert. I was happy to help you out. A little help goes a long way. Hope to see you around again. You too, Robert. Take care. Good luck with the apartments, and call me if you need help. This feels like the, uh... Very, very, uh, tight ropey type walking that you do with some of the uh, visual interactive novels that you... you Kind of clicking on things like, I, I, I don't want you to think I want a, a romantic inclination here. Oh, I've met so many people. Some of them are really nice. Some of them a little less so, but all of them are interesting in their own way. My temporary mail job officially ends tomorrow. Regardless of actual experience, a change of scenery always has its upsides. That probably also holds for tonight's open mic at Moe's Diner. <laughs> anyway, I love this town. You know I do. So, I'm dedicating my last jokes to specific people here tonight. The first one's for Maureen. A guy walks into a bar, and dozens of slabs of meat are hanging from the ceiling. So he asks the bartender, what's up with the hanging meat up there, man? So the bartender says, ah, oh, you're new here. Well, we like to play a game here. If you can jump up and slap a steak, the house will pay for your drinks all night. However, if you miss, you have to pay everyone else's bar tab. So, want to give it a go? Nah, says the man. <laughs> Those steaks are too high. <laughs> this one's for our own newcomer, Meredith Weiss. So, a woman's driving down the freeway, but all of a sudden, she hears a local news bulletin warning drivers on the very freeway she's on. They're saying, please be advised of this very dangerous situation of a car going the wrong way. So the woman says to herself, what car? <laughs> Why, there's dozens. <laughs> Well, folks, wasn't that special? Now, let me know if any of you oh, have any jokes about Jack, you hear? It's an open mic, after all. <laughs> it's actually time for a little break right now. So come on up to the bar for some of our finest concessions. We'll continue shortly. Mildred, how are you? And how are the cats? Fine, on both counts, dear. Thank you for asking. So, do you like the hair? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, Looking there we go. Fine as always. Thank you, dear. Pity it's quite the waste of time and money, seeing as how I can't stay for long. Really? What's the rush? You see, my son decided to drop by unannounced and he's staying sure. the whole weekend well that sure beats getting a teddy bear in the mail doesn't it <laughs> all right well anyway take care dear now where did he park the car yes it's me Matt Kearney in an egg brace real funny huh who are you? I must admit it. It's at least a little funny. What happened? Well, I was about to send the final boss, the afterlife, but then the computer crashed. I kicked my foot out in anger and fell from my chair, and now I'm here looking like a loser. 
I'm sure you'll beat the game one day. Don't give up on the dream. I can't play like this. But I'm going to work out a strategy in the meantime. Good for Guess you. Guess who? Jack Burton? Ah, <laughs> oh, now I'm going to be a disappointment. It's just me. Even better, though I never would have guessed. So, what have I missed? Uh... Well, Matt Kearney's condition is worth a mention. But the final act is supposed to be the real showstopper. At least, that's what Maureen tells me. Really? Well then, I guess I arrived just in time. So, how have you been? To be honest, I expected to hear more from you than just a note. I know, and I'm sorry. It's just, well, shutting down the store was a big... Hey, Angie. Hey, Meredith. Sorry to pop in like this, but I just wanted to inform you I fixed everything on the RV. She's got a new radio, I replaced some wiring, adjusted windshield wiper speed. The sea turtle is ready to go! <laughs> That's great, Lori. Thanks! I'm sure it's like she's brand new. Well, I wouldn't say that, but you'll see. Gotta go later. What's going on? Explain things. An I must RV, learn. Huh? Oh, it's kind of a long story. You know Mickey and June? Yeah. The hiker couple, right? Well, long story short, I've somehow gained possession of their vehicle of choice, which, as Miss Young just described, is a perfectly adequate RV that I'm going to use to motor right out of this sad little town. Oh, but... What? So you're definitely leaving? Absolutely. Come with me. I mean it. Leave this sad old town behind and go wherever we want to go. Free spirits the way Mickey and June intended. Um... Well, you are a good kisser. Hmm, there's plenty more where that came from. But at some point, you've got to give me a definite answer. You get that, right? Look alive, folks. It's time for the final act. <laughs> it's hilarious. It's, it's like they're constantly making me, uh... <laughs> Saved by the bell, babe. I got stuff to do anyway. Oh. Okay, I'll let you know. Dear people, oh. none other than our own Kay Evans will perform next. She has been writing songs since she was a little girl. And I cannot say how thrilled I am to host her first performance of hopefully many to come. I am so proud of you, honey. Please put your hands together for Kay, everyone. to her. This does not happen a lot, but you have left me speechless. That was K, people. Another round of applause. Well, it's a good thing I didn't leave when Reynolds started his nonsense. <laughs> this kid can sing. Yeah, I'm with oh, you, Mr. Mackey. Hi, Mr. Mackey. Yeah, she's awesome. Yeah, it's good to see someone flourish, but I'd rather be home right now. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Isn't it fun to step out every once in a while? Smoking a pipe and reading a proper book is the only acceptable way to spend a Sunday evening in September. That's... Bert, thank you so much for coming. Again. I know you'd rather be somewhere else right now. That's okay, kid. I don't regret it one bit. You did great. But ladies, if you'll excuse me, I'm out of here. Now the camera's going to change and we aren't going to see him walk and away. now for an announcement. I'm serious, so hush now. Now, you He's all gone. know that Kay has been working here at the diner for quite a while now. In fact, she was my anchor after Stan left us. And I think the time has come to formally announce right here that I will put your name above the door of this place, honey, where it belongs. Kay's place. Okay. What? That's we just haven't got. settled on a name yet, but there you go. Another okay. round of applause. Kamos. And have some drinks Kamos with place. us. place. Mmm. I'm all for the Kamo. That was amazing. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Em. It felt amazing. I was so super nervous, you know? Like, shaking and all that. I'm so glad it went well. How did it feel to be up there? Oh, it was so great to be performing again. It felt amazing. I'm all over the place right now. It was such a rush. I will definitely be doing that again. If they let me, of course. Kay's place, huh? Congratulations. <laughs> that was quite a surprise. Yeah, I told you. Mo asked me like a gazillion times, right? Kind of felt right this time. We haven't hashed out any details, as you might have noticed. <laughs> but it feels good, you know? That's great. Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. proud mm -hmm. of you, Kay. You really have made a great life here. Thanks, Sam. I'd like to think so. Big day tomorrow, right? You know what you're going to do? Honestly? Don't. Well, wait. I'm not good at this stuff, so I just want to say it was good to have you back these past weeks, Em. Really good. You just do what you feel you have to do. I'm just glad we reconnected. Promise you'll keep in touch? Whatever the outcome, yeah? Of course. And remember, time marches, marches on. on. <laughs> See ya, Kay. Thanks. For everything. <laughs> I absolutely love that in this game, they just didn't bother with the in-between animations so nothing ever looks weird no one ever walks or gives awkward you know moments Actually, of going through doorways going to do a ventriloquist bit next but i just heard he hurt his hand back in his cabin let me thank you again for joining us and there's plenty of food and drink to no. go around so divine providence saved us from a ventriloquist act this is this is fantastic I sure do hope they're keeping things proper in there while I'm taking a breather. So, you had fun? Oh, it was great. Kay was amazing. You said it. Oh, that girl is so talented. Oh, I'd give my big toe to be able to do what she does behind a keyboard. Oh, sheesh. I'm still thinking about your news about handing over the diner. Kay's place, huh? That was quite the bombshell. That's my style. I've mentioned it to Kay, yes, many times since Stan died. She probably thought I was joking half the time, honestly. I just want to give her the option. It's hers whenever she wants it. And if she doesn't, that's fine too. Yeah, but how do you make a choice like that if you don't even know what your own situation will end up looking like? Something on your mind, hon? I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling a bit weird about tomorrow. How did things end up with Kay? You could tell me to mind my own, of course. It's just that that girl is like a daughter to me. We yeah. talked, yeah. She's so amazing. We really reconnected, and I'm happy we did. <laughs> Listen, you're two grown women, and if that's the choice you two ended up on, I can only respect that. Speaking of choices, you've got a big day in the morning, don't you? Know what you're gonna do yet? 
Stick around, move back. Honestly, no, no clue at all. Sounds like you're feeling a lot of pressure. I guess I am. <sighs> you know what I've found? Screw clarity. You don't need clarity to make choices. How so? I swear. People these days seem to think that because they can calculate and approximate, they can clear up the secret to existence. Like, life's a game you can win or lose. Pretending you know exactly where future you wants to end up. And plotting that out for the rest of your life? <sighs> I'd almost say that's arrogant. Not to mention boring. The beauty is in not knowing, if you ask me. But how do you live your life then? Want to know my advice? You take that one first step and see where it leads you. You can never truly predict the one that comes after and whatever path you take will come with its ups and downs. There will always be joy and there will always be regret. But that's something to be thankful for. That's what makes life yours, doesn't it? Thanks, Maureen. It makes sense. You'll be all right. I, I've had such you a just keep checking what feels here. right. And if not, just take that first step, you hear? Maureen? Thanks for everything. I best get back inside. You take care now, Meredith Wise. Take care, Maureen. So what am I doing? Good morning, Meredith. You won't believe the weekend I had. Saturday, I placed a bet on the Angels and won. But they played again yesterday, and I let it ride, and then they lost. They're playing again tonight, and now I don't know what to do anymore. Well, Frank, the pattern is obvious. <laughs> Gambling addiction is beyond salvation. Um, I still think the statistical analysis and knowing who's on the better end will be a better thing. No. And betting against the pattern pays off, White Sox. Okay, Meredith, thanks. I'll go with that. Speaking of gambling, I bet you're taking the job. And that's not just because you're wearing your coat. I love the coat, Frank. Hmm. What does Meredith need at this point? She was working as a computer brain for a long time. And definitely needed to change things up. But it wasn't fulfilling. However, Angie just kind of got quiet and didn't do anything for a couple of days and that sounds like a dangerous relationship to be in you know one of those toxic instances where you're kind of a second class to their whims however people need to be individuals in the relationships oh this is so difficult but i'm definitely not going back to the big city it's just will i go with angie or will i stay here oh this is so so mm, Yeah, because she but then she was busy. She had lots of stuff to do. And the call of adventure sounds quite right. But is it? Should I stay here a bit longer? Continuing delivering the mail and doing that. No, no, I'm gonna I leave know. with Angie. I'm taking it off. I'm leaving Providence Oaks again. Oh, that's not what I was hoping to hear, Meredith. But I understand. What are you going to do? Well, actually, I'm... Uh... A van? So you're staying in the delivery business? 
No, wait. That's an RV. Yep. I'm getting on it, and I'm not sure where I'll stop. Mm -hmm. So, I guess this is goodbye. I'm gonna miss you, Frank. Thanks for everything. Try to stay out of trouble, okay? Don't worry, Meredith. I'll be fine. Thanks for everything. Take care and drive safe. And the V-Belt is not in great shape, but it should last you another month or three. The sea turtle and all of her glory. Do you like her? Meredith and I named her. She's pretty amazing, Lori. Cute name, too. Thanks for doing this for me. You're very welcome. I thought you really wanted to have the RV, Lori. I wanted to work on her really badly. But now that she doesn't need any more work... Then why don't you replace the V-Belt? Since I don't have a license, and I'm not old enough to get one anyway. I'll keep you up to date on all our adventures, promise. It'll be like you're right there with us. I'm counting on it. Hey, Meredith? I'm going to miss you. I'll miss you too, Lori. It was really fun watching didn't that movie. Didn't even ask me. Working on the RV with you. Me yes, too. I will miss Lori Besides, so much. You'll be back sometime, right? Of course. I have to check on my favorite engineer. You mean me? Ha! I'd love that. Safe travels, Meredith. Thank you, Lori. <laughs> hug her. Don't hug her. <laughs> See you around. Refuse the love of the child. Magnificent, isn't she? Yeah, she certainly knows a lot about cars for a kid her age. <laughs> I meant the RV. But sure, Lori's great too. So, you all packed? Sure am. The big stuff's in storage. But I've got the bare necessities. Clothes, toiletries, and a whole bunch of videotapes. So, where are we going first? <laughs> yeah, about that. Hmm? I've grown quite fond of you, Angie. Hadn't you noticed? And here I was, wondering if it was just my imagination. The feeling's mutual, babe. I'm in the driver's seat, by the way. I've heard about your driving. What? How what dare have you, you? Heard? From who? People talk. When advertising exec David Howard, parentheses Albert Brooks, is passed over for a promotion and subsequently fired, he decides to change his whole life. He convinces his wife Linda, parentheses Monica Johnson, to sell their house and roam the country easy rider style in a Winnebago. Okay, forget this one. That's just not going to be relatable at all. <laughs> nope. We've got nothing in common with those guys. I have another flick where a bunch of academics set up a ghost hunting business in an old fire station. That should be way more accessible. Angie Eastman, have you seen every single tape in here? Not all of them, but most. Come on! But I don't mind watching them again. In fact, I'd love to see them with someone who... Knows nothing about movies? I was going to put it a little nicer than that. Someone who has unspoilt virgin eyes. Virgin eyes? What are you, a poet now? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Dare well, you talk about my eyes in such a way? Will unspool before these virgin eyes soon enough. Tell me about Stand By Me. It's about four kids from Oregon, right? Yeah, but some jerk named Will Wheaton ruins everything. Sorry for butting in, folks, but I've got a special treat for y'all. I just updated my playlist. You! This song is from our very own K. Evans. Villainous swine! Okay. So this looks like this is a credit roll. Well, I hope everyone had a wonderful time. I certainly did. It was a bit of a longer episode than normal, as always. But what happens is... I got it, you know, the normal mark, and then we started the uh, grand events of the end, and I liked it. I really like this game. I and and it wasn't well. No, I'll say some of it might have gone on a bit longer than it could have, and 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 at that point, it's just maybe they could have shrunk some of the mail delivery parts during the day. 
outside of that, it was a fantastic, like, bit of not needing something earth-shattering or something catastrophic happening. It was just a game about life, and I can't say how much I, I love this, and I think this needs to go on so much more often in everything. You know, it's, it's, that, it's that slice of life that you just don't get enough in video games. And hopefully, hopefully this, this, this goes on. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I do have to admit, I don't recognize many of these folks at all. Typically, typically I do kind of have my, my moments, but, uh, no. So, with that said, I hope everyone enjoyed themselves. If you did, please subscribe. Uh, you know, beyond that, maybe click the like, the, uh, Twitch Manicles. But it's always far, far, infinitely more important than that. Have a wonderful day, and thank you so much for joining me. Until next time.